All right, guys, I just came to Target. Look what I freaking found, man. This is the same Target that was like super stocked the last time I came. Um, look at this. They have the uh, the Spin Masters little figures here of Blue Beetle. This is actually my first time seeing some of these. They got a big packaging for such a small little figure in here. Uh, I don't think it does anything. So you got this right here. I think they're all the same. And then you have this one, which is already here. And then we have the actual statue of Blue Beetle, which looks really good. So I'm actually tempted on this one. And um, the cool thing is they have the Hulk and Bruce Banner two pack. And this is, I don't pick up Legends, but this is actually something that I do want to pick up. So I might end up leaving with this one because this looks freaking cool. And then they also have the DC Multiverse Flash Gold label exclusive that comes with the uh, unmasked berry. And this is the one to fill the build the flash collect and connect but we come down further this is a new cowl i saw this one last time i was here but this is a new little cowl here batman armored but they also have these they have the villain uh carapex i think the name is but look at this look how many there is you got one two you got four of these guys here and only one blue beetle but this guy looks cool kind of reminds me of something out of um pacific rim so you have those. Oh, I didn't even notice these over here. The X-Men Wolverine Claws. It's pretty cool. Reminds me of like the 90s ones. Oh, they still have, oh, they, it looks like they restocked on the sewers. They got two of the sewer layers, turtle vans. And then they also have the uh, three, the two pack right here of Cobb Banth and Cad Bane. There's one, two, three, four. And you, again, two sewers, and they have, I think that actually, this actually might be new. I don't think I've seen this one before, the Masters of the Universe, Point and Dread Talon Fighter. That's pretty freaking sick. And then uh, we also have, uh, yeah, the Party Wagon. This is, there's another Cat Bane, if I said that right. And then this is what they have in the wrestling section. Now, I didn't even notice this. They got, like, they're stocked over here with some of the turtle stuff. They started moving the, um, wait, wasn't this guy hard? to get at one point the splinter i think splinter was this might i don't know if i've seen him before i feel like i have but you don't see the splinter figure that often so there's splinter these might be new for all i know i gotta grab this guy where'd he go i don't want to leave this one behind um this has got some weight too uh i don't know what else could be new in this section i want to go back to the marvel legends area but there's a lot of people on uh on that side yeah the turtle stuff is like super freaking stock man look at all this and you come over here and then you have more stuff on this side from all the um, all the turtle stuff and more party wagons. Yeah, I came to the opposite side of the turtle area and check this out. We got army builders right here. First off, they have this crap. I mentioned this before. These are horrible reissues of these figures. They just don't look like the originals. The box is awesome though. Uh, but we have what several foot soldiers. So if you want to army build these, they got them right here. I like these too. I like the packaging. I think the packaging is really cool. And I do like these guys too, but I kind of took a break from the turtle stuff for now. Uh, but these are cool figures. Here, check out what they have here. So they still got Black Rose here. They still got Tarantula sitting here, but now they added Electra up top. It's got the Daredevil logo on here. This looks really cool. I love the cards on these, but they also have Marvel, Marvel's uh, Chasm. I think I'm saying that right. I don't know if I'm really familiar with this guy, but there's a few of them just sitting right here. And then again with the uh, Marvel's, or uh, Daredevil. I'm actually curious on the price on this freaking thing. Man, 60 freaking bucks. I'm gonna wait for this single clearance. What the hell? This is just randomly sitting here too. It's my first time seeing this guy, Blue Beetle, gold label exclusive. Dude, this, I'm not gonna lie, this freaking thing looks really good. I wanna show you guys what else I found over here on end cap. Um, this is where like the Blue Beetle one's supposed to be, but they have uh, some more comic book Blue Beetles just sitting right here. What is there, four of them plus the other one that I found? Four? Hey, but look what I found. Gold label yellow lantern batman holy crap dude i oh, there's so much stuff that i want here today it's not even funny this is awesome yeah I'm really on the fence with this guy man this one looks so good though i'm not gonna lie this one looks really good but i'm really on the fence on this one oh man it just looks so freaking awesome dude look at that thing the detailing on them i think these are gonna sit though i have a feeling this one's honestly gonna sit for a while I don't know, man, but this looks really good. Jeez, man. I do want this one. 
What do you guys think? Pick up or pass on the Blue Beetle statue? Dude, I don't really follow the Mario stuff. I don't know if I've seen this before, if that's new. And I don't even know if I've seen like some of these down here, like that place set, I don't know if I've seen. And then same with this uh, Sonic Prime, I might have seen it. This set, I don't even know. This looks like a new set too, with a lot of different characters. I, uh, look, this this has got to be new. I don't remember ever seeing the Sonic Sonic Prime stuff. Um, here's some of the figures that they do have here with the Mario's, but I I really don't know. Uh, these do these do look new though. Same with uh, these ones down here. Look at all this here. So, oh, they might have restocked on some of the Batman stuff. I don't I don't remember seeing that stuff up here. Look at all these, dude. All, you see a lot of these at Best Buy. So there's several Earth 2s, Disco Riddler. Um, see, there's more Earth 2s up here. And they still don't have the new Spawn figures here. They got tons of the Jurassic Park vehicles. Spider-Man, No Way Home. I think the only one that's missing is the Amazing. What else? Haven't seen that two-pack in a while, that turtle one. Oh, here's Willow right here. Willow. No, I don't think I've seen Mad, Mad Mortigan yet. I think he's the one that I haven't seen. I think that's a new one there too, the Nightmare. But there's Sasha. This one, I'm not 100% sure if I've seen this one before. But I'm trying to see if there's a Mad Mortigan. There he is, right there. Oh, this looks good. Val Kilmer. It's not that crappy show. This is the actual movie. This looks good. They all look good. Oh man, I didn't even know this. They got the freaking Target exclusive Blue Beetle. I thought it was just a head sculpt. He's actually in a flying pose, but this is the new Funko Blue Beetle here. I wonder if they, if they have any other ones. I mean, okay, here's another one. This is the um, Jaime Reyes, which is Cholo, the actor Cholo. Oh, and here's the, uh, oh, it's right here. Here's the villain of um, a Blue Beetle. So they have the Target exclusive. I have a feeling these are going to sit, to be honest with you. I'm kind of like really in awe. I mean, they just stocked here on Monday. This past Monday, you guys saw my video where I showed you guys they put a bunch of stuff up. And then it's Friday today as I'm filming this. And it is completely stocked again. I don't, I'm like at a loss for words. Um, I'm getting this for sure. And the Hulk two-pack. Um, I'm debating on um, the, uh, the Ant-Man, not the Ant-Man, the Blue Beetle. Then this is why is this here in the clearance? I really doubt that's on clearance because this is a clearance area. I got some pops here that are definitely on clearance. Oh, let's go see if they have any of the Doomsday two packs. Oh, this is what, okay. So the Doomsdays that were here are gone, but now they have a ninja spawn sitting here, and then they also have um, two of the dark. These, these are still here, these have been here since last time. They have these Joes, and then that one over here, but one of the uh, ninja spawn gold label. Dude, look at this. I didn't even know they made ooze canisters, man. Look at this, they have mutagen ooze with a turtle surprise. And this is a three colors to collect. You don't even know the colors. So I think I might get some of these. So you can see here, three colors. There's a baby turtle in them. I'll get a couple, I'll grab a couple. Yeah, they're freaking stocked on some of the vehicles too. This is like a new line that I've seen. And this is a 2015 Dodge SRT Hellcat, jeez. Oh, what's in the back of this one? This one is a Lamborghini. Oh man, these are nice. So after all that, all that excitement and everything, freaking, let me put this down, freaking um, the Batman uh, gold label street dated. The Blue Beetle statues are street dated. So those got taken from me. I was gonna get those turtle things, but at that point I was already like, eh, I'm over it. So supposedly, well, we'll see what happens with the Batman. But um, so I got street dated, I didn't pick up anything. It's fine, it's fine, I, I didn't mind. The Blue Beetle is not a big loss because I have that. It's in stock on Big Bad Toy Store. Link in the description down below. All the Blue Beetle figures are in stock. And uh, so it's not a big loss. I, it's, it's okay. It's still real cool to see all this stuff in a Target store. So I, I hope you guys enjoyed this review or this video. Uh, let me know what your targets are like. If you guys have a stock Target like this where there's a bunch of stuff, let me know in the comments down below what your Target looks like and um, what you're out there looking for. Oh, check this out. I found some two packs of the Turtles. Uh, these ones here are battle damage, so they have Suit Leo versus Superfly. I think there's a Bebop and Rocksteady one. Oh yeah, they have these two packs too. So it's your other ways of getting um, the same characters, but in battle damage form. I don't know if Leo has a different head sculpt. I'm trying to see if they if I can find them here. 
if there's one that has, you can see if it's just pretty much like a repaint. These are all Mikey's, Mikey's, Donnie. I don't know if I can find a, a, there's Leo right here. So let's try to pull one out. And yeah, yeah, it's pretty much, let's see. Yeah, it's the same, it's the same head sculpt. Didn't even realize that, so it includes a collect and connect display. And this is the displays right there in the back. This is a really cool idea. Um, I'm really loving what they're doing with the Mutant Mayhem. And then over here we have the Monopoly sets. And I mean, just this alone, just for the, the packaging is freaking awesome. Look at all the stuff that you get too. So you get the turtles, loving it, man. Loving the merch that they're doing for this. Oop, came on the opposite side and here we go. We have the other ones here. So we have, they have Rocksteady on this side and these are priced at $24. So pretty much what, like $12, $12 and some change a figure. So here's Raphael and Rocksteady. So you can see they, they do have a little bit of battle damage to them. And then the only one that's missing seems to be the Leatherhead one. And then over here, oh, nope, there it is. Look at that, we have a full on set of these. So here's Leatherhead and Mikey. And then over here we have the uh, Donatello and Bebop. It says, wow, on his chest. I never noticed that. I'm gonna, let's get them all together. All right, so this is all of them right here. We have Michelangelo, Leatherhead, Donnie, and Bebop. And at the bottom, we have Raphael and Rocksteady and Superfly. Dang, man, that's actually pretty cool. This is awesome. And then again, that the fact that they all collect uh, or connect a uh, diorama display in the background. And I've already seen this stuff here, the bicycles. So you have the Raphael and the Leonardo one. I don't think anything else is new. I've already seen the, the sewer playset, which is pretty cool. I saw that at Target, but this display seems to be exactly the same. Dude, these things are freaking huge. Dude, that's, a, that's like an oversized pop in there. This is at GameStop, and then they have um, the Killer Clowns one too, the box set. This is a full, I haven't seen one of these big displays out of Walmart, and this is it right here for the turtles. So they have all the giant turtles here, and then they have the two packs, which looks like it's just missing the Leatherhead. Why does it always seem like Leatherhead's the one that, that is missing out of the two packs? And then they have these uh, skateboarding ones, which I've already shown, and then there's these things right here. It's like a little play set, not 100%, oh, it's like a little ramp, so that's pretty cool. And they got all these, and then there's some more down here. And then on this side, there's freaking chips. I didn't know they made what, the pitos. That's dude, if you're Spanish, you know, you know pito. You know what that is. Um, so they have these, and then they have the pops right here, the Monopoly board game. And then over here, there's some clothing and some boxers. And then this is a giant, what is this? This is a coloring book. Oh, this is pretty cool. So we got a huge coloring book here for the turtles. What's on the back of this? I don't even know if you can open this though, but this is pretty awesome. So it's got coloring pages and then you have some hats, some turtles, some boxers, some more coloring books and uh, activity books. What's this right here? Oh, this is a lunchbox down there, but what is this? You deliver. This is, oh, this is socks. So we have some turtle socks in uh, pizza boxes and these are cool. Like the coloring books. I used to love getting these as a kid. Oh no, these also have um, uh, crossword puzzles. So that's pretty awesome. Coloring and activity book. What's this one back here? A lot of cool stuff, man. They really went went out with the turtle stuff. Love it. Oh, this is something I haven't seen. These little turtle, this is awesome. Look at Raph. These are the little, I think these are little racers. This is a rad rip. Oh, it's the, the rips. I haven't seen these in a long time. I didn't know they still made stuff like this. So they have a uh, Mikey, like in a buggy. Raph's in the party wagon, and then Donnie. Oh, they also have Donnie in a, which looks it looks like a dump truck, almost like a party wagon. I don't know if there's like a Leo or oh, here's Leo right here. Leo's in a in a taxi taxi car, and then the only one that's missing is I think that's all of them. I think that's all four. Donnie, Mikey, Raph. Yeah, I think that's it. Got a Superman versus Doomsday set just sitting right there. And this spawn mon monolith, I still haven't picked him up. He's still sitting here too. This is $5.99. Mr. Freeze is still $17.99. This one and that, that Batman with the, the pink Kel are $5.99, but this is still full price. Didn't even realize there was two Rock Steadies. I guess one's a Chase. See that? Two versions. Going to one of my favorite spots again, man. Freaking book off. 
this place is addicting. This is a place that you can go to like every week, at least like once a week, because there's always new stuff in here. Let's check it out. Dude, look at this. This is only $200 for the Anakin. That's a, that's a pretty fair price. And this is something you don't see a lot. The Legacy Blade Blaster, limited black edition, $400. There's a Green Ranger back here. Venom. Ooh, old Diablo figures. We have uh, Matrix figures over here. And then they still have the Commissioner Gordons sitting here. Look at the stuff they have down here. Gordon. Batmobile's 150. This is a really good price for that. Some more figures up top. Ryu. Um, I still need this, but not for that price, but I still need this. Over here, we got, I still want that Archangel too. That was freaking cool. And then down there, so stuff we got. That's the Nestro back there. Green Lantern's $40, but I think it's, uh, I think it's individual busts. Yeah, still have the Eolus figure, 15 bucks. 